Hey everyone, so in this tutorial you will learn how to create this kind of super smooth beautiful shape here. And as always it's only possible with surface modeling. So you will learn very useful techniques and workflows so you can use that in your own uh, projects. Let's have a look. And if you want to learn more about plasticity and surface modeling, I just launched my new plasticity 3D modeling course in which you will learn with fully narrated step-by-step -step instructions how to model a motorcycle completely from scratch. And not just that, this course will teach you the mental and technical skills to tackle any project that you want, as well as offering you numerous bonus lessons on effective learning strategies and providing you a full introduction into the fundamentals of surface surface modeling with hands-on exercises. So if that's something you're interested in, you can find out more information in the description box below this video. And for now, let's jump in into our tutorial. All right, so let's create this beautiful shape here. Create a new file, go to the front view, and first of all, Shift F, that's my shortcut for control point curve. And we will just create here this outer curve first because we will revolve it. So just create the shape that you like, select it and go here to revolve. So create that curve, select the curve, go to revolve and just snap to the Z axis and drag that down. Perfect. Delete the curve. And now, first of all, we have to create the symmetrical pattern. So this shape, because we will cut it then and then mirror it over. So let's do everything step by step. We will just create a line somewhere here. So something uh, like that. We can adjust it in a second, maybe make it a little bit longer. And press G and drag it here with control snap to the Z axis. So it's exactly in the middle. This is important. And yeah, I don't know, bring that somewhere here. And let's just bring it to the front. So we just see it a little bit better. And now what we just can do very simple, we can create a spline curve, snap to one endpoint, snap to the Z axis. So we know it's symmetrical and just go down here again. And yeah, it doesn't look like exactly what we want and we don't have enough points. So just press shift S to subdivide it because then we will perfectly get one, this middle point and we can then just adjust a little bit of our shape. So select those points and also those outer points, they should be tangent or straight to those points. So you can just select it, press G, drag that here on the X axis, control click to that snap. So it's on the exact same height, the same with the left one. And this, you see now we really get a really nice smooth shape here. So just the points and I think we can bring those on the outside just a little bit more to the insides. So it's a little bit uh, taller and perfect. Delete that curve here and shift A create just two additional lines. So we can cut this whole body. Alt click on all of those curves, press J to join them, press C cut into our surface here and just delete that. Perfect. Hide this curve. Let's go to the top view and create a line. Press tap and tap. Give it 45 degrees. So it's everything symmetrical. And now just go radial array to the top. We need four pieces. Delete those curves. Join those curves. Press C and cut again into our surface and delete this piece. And this one we can leave. We will need that. Perfect. So we just have one piece and let's do the same. Select the sheet, go to the top view, radial array around the middle, press OK and join. And we have our first shape here. Cool. So now let's create here the circle at the top and then start with the really fun part, surface modeling. So go to the top view and just create here a circle. And this circle we want to bring up a little bit. Now you can play a little bit around. And now what we want to do is because yeah, we are, uh, we have everywhere symmetry. We just want to fill like one quarter. So let's do that by going to the right view. And now we want to create the curve to connect this middle piece with this piece here. Shift F control point curve. 
By the way, guys, below this video, you find all shortcuts of plasticity and my individual ones, which are super optimized for surface modeling and speed. So shift F or control point curve, snap to this point, drag that down. So it's yeah, kind of tangent and snap here to the middle and yeah, play a little bit around with mm -hmm. the shape as you like. Select this curve again, because we also want it here, right? So go to the top, your radial array, and it's still four. And that looks absolutely fine. Make sure that on the top everywhere it's green, so we know it's touching all of those curves. And now we can start with the fun part. So first of all, we can't just patch like this whole piece here, right? So we have to break it down a little bit. And also we wanted to give here this nice smooth um, rounding in the in between those circles here. I don't know how to call. So create a line and we will create three lines. So shift D to duplicate and one line again and one more. Why we are doing this? Because we need some extra edges. So we have a little bit more control. So select all of those three curves and again, custom shortcut, shift one or search for imprint curve and select this surface, press OK, delete those curves. We don't need them and perfect. And you see, we have here some extra edges and now we can just select them. And again, custom shortcut, but guys, super optimized for the left hand and speed. And it's much better than if you just press F and search for bridge edge. So I have it on shift B below this video. You, you find everything shift B bam. And let's give it only G zero because we don't need any tangency. The same for those one G zero and the same for those one shift B bridge edge G zero. Perfect. Now we want to create a little bit of the surrounding which goes inside. So as always, let's select them and shift S to subdivide those curves and give one extra point. And now in the top view, just select those one point one by one and just give it a little bit of a rounding. And the higher it gets, the stronger the rounding can be. But again, you can play around. And now let's close this beautiful hole here by select this curve first, shift and shift and bam, we can just loft it. And you see, we get the absolute perfect, beautiful surface here. And this is exactly what we need. Let's delete those curves and press tab or object mode and join all of those surfaces because those are separate and press. And I did a little mistake. <laughs> so let's go just back. And so to, till this point, when we loft it, of course, we have to add those outer edges as well. So while you are in the loft, shift, 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 and also this one, but we don't have tangency. And also, if you don't know what this tangency on continuity in the same PDF, you will find everything like the basics about surface modeling. You can just download. It's an amazing cheat sheet. So let's give it here G0. So G0, G0, and now you see it's exactly what we want. Right click, delete those three curves, press four again, select those sheets, press J. And guys, you see, we have this main surface, so we can close this little hole and this at the top in a second. But first of all, let's do this one. So you can just select this and those edges and loft them again with G1. So you have a beautiful, uh, continuity and give it here again G0 and here because we have a hard edge. Press four, select everything, join and you see that looks, it's not perfect, but here for the tutorial, it's fine. So yeah, let's go here to the top. First of all, we, yeah, let's first of all, object mode, select it and control D again, shortcut, de delete red and done topology just to make everything clean. Bam, so we don't have extra edges, but we need where this curve meets this edge, we need here an extra edge. And the same here, because otherwise if we select this edge, it goes around, but we just need one of this little piece. So select this piece and control R, isoparam again, shortcuts, but it's guys, if you're just new, I know a lot of you have already downloaded this whole cheat sheet PDFs, but there are seven or eight 
super important sh shortcuts which you, are, you will use all the time in surface modeling. So yeah, control R, isoparam and press tab and snap here to the curve. Do the same here, control R, press tab to change the direction and snap here. Perfect. So we are basically almost done to patch this hole here, but it's not possible because we also need an edge here at the top. So select the circle, press E to extrude this to the top, delete this curve. And the same here where the curve meets the edge, we need an extra edge, select this face with three, control R, isoparam and snap here to the curve. And do the same here, control R, snap to the curve. And now finally guys, we still can't patch, right? Because I mean, we can, right? So something like that and it's not working. I don't know why. Ah, okay. So you see this curve doesn't meet in the middle. So just press one, select this point and with control click snap it here to the middle. So that should work now if we patch that. So patch it and we still have a gap somewhere. So yeah, now it works, but we can't patch it. I mean, you might think, oh yeah, that looks good. Uh, I will leave it. You can't do it because let me show it to you. If you press OK, it's always the same. So if we would just unjoin, so just don't follow along, just watch what I'm doing. And we would array that around. You see, we have here an edge. And it's always the same. It's literally in every tutorial that I'm showing. And in all of my courses, we go obviously and all and in all of my paid courses, of course, we go much more in depth into this topic. But before we patch it, as always, you need to extrude this curve and this curve as well, because now we have extra edges and let's delete those curves here. And now, because you see, now we, we can patch it completely only with edges and not curves. And this is exactly what we want. So we can select them and press shift three or just patch it and give it here G1, here G1 and here G1. And if you are super funny, you can give here G1 as well. Press OK. Let's delete all of those extra surfaces. And you see guys look absolutely beautiful surface. And let's go to the top view and bring back our curve here. And this curve we want to this time to rotate 45 degrees because again, we just want one quarter and then mirror it over. So press R for rotate and this pivot is wrong. We want to bring it in the middle. So press just here F for freestyle, snap to the middle, snap to the end point and we can just snap it here to the X axis and you see it's perfectly 90 degrees. So press C, cut into our surface, delete this outer piece here, delete this curve, press tabs, select this whole sheet here, radial array around the middle, press OK and join. And you see absolutely beautiful. And as I said, if you want to learn much more about surface modeling, I have amazing surface modeling courses where you will learn all the important techniques and workflows about surface modeling and how you can use them in your own projects like power tools or a helmet design. Or I just launched my new all-in-one plasticity course. It's the absolute complete solution for plasticity. You will learn how to create this whole motorcycle completely from scratch with all of those parts. It's almost everything surface modeling and you will get a tons of bonus courses how to learn effectively, how to get fast results. Also here in every surface modeling course, you get eight bonus lessons. I included them because they are so important that you just understand all the basics and, and, and the fundamentals first with some hands-on exercises. And once you went through them, we are going to the main parts like the helmet, the motorcycle, all the power drills. So if that's something you're interested in, you can check out if you want. First link in the description below this video. And yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Leave a like and subscribe. Have a nice day and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.